Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on self-correcting Johnson counter. So before going to the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond within 24 hours. So before going to the self-correcting Johnson counter, let us understand a Johnson counter. So Johnson counter is a shift register where the data of the output is complemented and fed back into the input. So it is also called as a twisted ring counter. It is similar to the ring counter, but the output is complemented and fed back to the input. So as you can see over here, this is a four bit Johnson counter. And so we are using four flip flops for it. And with four bit, we are able to achieve two into four, that is eight states. So if you are using an N bit, that is N flip flops, then we are gonna get two power N states. So now let us look at the possible eight states for a four bit Johnson counter. So first I'm taking the values of all the flip flops as zero. So zero, zero, zero for A, B, C and E. Now what happens in the next clock edge is that the inverted output is fed back to A as input. So inverted of zero is one. So one will be coming at A and then next bit will be shifted over here and shifted over here and shift it over here. So the value will be, so you got one, zero, zero, and zero. And next, the one will be shifted over here and E will be inverted, so it will be one over here. So the value is one, one, zero, zero. So in the next clock edge, what happens is that this one will be coming over here, this one over here, and the inverted of output E will be over here. So we'll get three ones and one zero. And for the fifth clock edge, we are gonna get this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here, and the inverted output of E over here, that is all ones in this case. So now we will get the inverted output of E as zero on the sixth edge, and the next values will be one over here. So on the seventh edge, we are gonna shift it, and the inverted output will be zero again so we got 0 0 1 and 1 on the 8 edge we will get 0 over here 0 over here and the inverted output that is 0 again so three zeros and one over here so after 8 cycle if we implement the johnson counter again then we are going to get the first value that is 0 0 0 and then it will continue keep on continuing this cycle when the outputs are available at the flops then we are going to give the values to the AND gate and decode the state as shown. So this values will help us to know which state we are present in. If A bar and E bar gives us a result of one, then we will know that we are in zero zero state. And if A and B bar gives us one, then it will indicate us that we are in one zero zero state. So now if we have a four bits Johnson counter, then we require two cross four states. So if we have n bits, then we will have two cross n states which are being used, okay? So there are some unused states in Johnson counter. So how many unused states are there? So the possible number of combination of states are 2 power n and the used states are 2 cross n. So number of unused states are 2 power n minus 2 cross n. So this is the number of unused states in a Johnson counter. Let's say we are using a 4 bit. That means 2 power 4 is 16. And we are using a states, how many states? 8 states. So the remaining 8 states are being unused. So the problem arrives here. Whenever the Johnson counter enters into an unused state, we need to get it back to the used state. So how are we gonna get it? So now we are gonna learn it to the self-correcting Johnson counter. So self-correcting Johnson counter will go to the unused state, but automatically it will come back to the used state by using a little bit of hardware or the correction in the design. Now let us design a self-correcting Johnson counter. For this, I'm going to take a 3-bit Johnson counter. So for 3 bits, we require 3 flops A, B, and C. 
the output of C is complemented and given to the flop A as input. So the possible number of states if we are using a 3-bit Johnson counter is 2 into 3 that is 6 states are possible. But unused states are 2 that is 2 power 3 is 8 minus 2 into 3 that is 8 minus 6. So we are having 8 minus 6 that is 2 unused states. So here you can see that we are having the used states as 6 and 2 unused states. So the used states are first it will be 0 then the inverted output 1 will come over here that is 1 0 0 then we will shift this 1 over here and then inverted output over here again 1 1 0 then same procedure will continue till we get over here and then we will go from 5 to 0 and 0 to 5 in a cycle manner. So a Johnson counter will face a problem if a noise is introduced in the system. Let's say the 111 is supposed to be the output result but due to some noise we are getting the value as 101. So if we enter into 101 state the next output will be this will be inverted back that is 0 and this will be shifted 1 and it will be 0 1 0. So again if we shift this bit we will get the value as 101 again. So the problem is that we will be in unused state forever until we reset the Johnson counter. So the problem is that we will be in the unused state forever. Okay. So to get out of this problem we are going to use the self-correcting Johnson counter. So let's draw the state machine first for the Johnson counter. Now let us look at the state machine of a Johnson counter for the 3 bit we have discussed. So as you have discussed that the first value will be 0, 0 and 0 and the next value will be 1, 0, 0 and the next value will be 1, 1, 0 and the next value will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 1. So this is a perfect Johnson counter but the problem arises when we go out of the bound or when the noise is introduced in the design. Let's say that when we are here now we need to go over here but a noise is introduced and we flip this 1 to 0 then we will get 0 1 0. So when we are in this state we will be going to 1 0 1 and going back from this state to this state to this state. We will be never going to this state until we reset it. So we need to correct this. So we will be not going back to 0, 1, 0. We will be having a new path that is self-correcting path. That is whenever we enter this state, we need to go back to 0, 0, 0. Whenever we enter this 1, 0, 1 state, then we go back to 0, 0 state. So you might be wondering, what if we enter 0, 1, 0? How are we going to go to 0, 0 state? Because if we enter 0, 1, 0, then the next state will be 101 and then we will going back to 000. So there will be a delay of one cycle over here but our issue is to correct it not the delay issue. So 010 will be going to 101 and then it will be going to 000. Now let us represent the state machine in a tabular form. So as you can see over here we have present state and next state. So present state will be 0, 0, 0 at first, then we will move to 1, 0, 0. So the next state is 1, 0, 0. So if present state is 1, 0, 0, we will move to 1, 1, 0, 0. So I have written it over here for this all states, which are used states in a 3-bit Johnson counter. So our problem is that when we enter an unused state, so here the last two states are unused states that is 101 and 010. So when we are in 101 state we usually go to 010. Since we are correcting it we need to go back to 00 state. So as I have said earlier that when we are in 101 state for a normal design we will be going to 010 state but we are changing this path and moving to 0, 0 state. So now our design will be as shown. 
So now we are moving from 101 to 0, 0, 0, 0. And then if we enter 0, 1, 0, there will be no issue. We will be going to 101. And when we enter 101, we will going back to 0, 0, 0 state. So we are making sure that we are in a used state whenever we go to the unused state. So that's our major issue. So now let us draw the k-map for each one of them for the next state qa plus 1, qb plus 1 and qc plus 1. So for qc plus we are getting the output as qb. Okay, qc plus 1 is equals to qb and qa plus 1 is inverted of qc. So we need to go for the k-map for qb plus. So this is the k-map for qb plus and we are going to get the equation as for correcting QA into QB plus QC bar. If we solve this K-map for QB plus, we are going to get this result. Now we are going to implement this result in our design. So after implementing the design, we will get the Johnson counter as shown. So we got the QB as QA into QB plus QC bar. So here it is QC bar plus QB into QA which is fed to the input of QB. So this small addition of the hardware will convert the unused state to the used state and will correct the Johnson counter from not going into the unused state. So this will help us to rectify our mistakes by which is created by noise or some other medium. So by using this extra hardware, we are able to correct the Johnson counter and preventing it from going through the unused state. So as the number of bits increases, the hardware logic will differ and that will be a quite complex if you are going for a higher number of bits for a Johnson counter. So I want you to try a 4-bit Johnson counter and self-correct it. If you are able to do that, that means you have understood the topic. And since you have understood the topic, make sure you hit that like button and please make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on. And thanks for watching till the end. Hope you have a great day and be healthy.